Hey guys, welcome back to the King Kane Way TV. It's me, King Kane, and I am here to give a review over Chasing Dallas Season 2, Episode 3. Right now, I am wearing my iconic top from Chasing Dallas Season 1, Episode 1, where I totally dominated um, the entire show and episode. Um, it was very good. It was very, it was very forthcoming. Um, so, you know, the safety pin queen is here. The safety pin queen is decked down and, you know, her safety pins, you know, this is one of my, my favorite, 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 absolute favorite tops that I own. Um, you know, it's definitely King Kane clothing. Um, and you know, all of that shit mixed in one. So you guys be sure to check out kingkane.co, um, and just get into the whole eclectic you know, um, dope, raw, authentic, authenticity, authenticism, if that's a word of the entire situation, okay? So let's just hop right on into the show. Um, disclaimer, moving forward, you know, I won't be mentioning Georgina, you know, at this point, you know, I've said all I can say. Um, there's pretty much nothing more I can say and or do. Um, so at this point, you know, I'm just over roasting her. Um, um, she's no match for the king, um, unfortunately. And, you know, it'll what it will. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, so it opens up with me and her basically finishing up, you know, that tea, that situation. Um, and like Premier said, we see each other. So, you know, let's go play the game. Let's have a great time. Um, Reese G, thank you for speaking the truth. You know, thank you for owning your shade that you threw. You know, I understand. I get it, you know. And, I, and, 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 and on my review for episode one, I was still just reviewing the show and giving my review and opinion on the shade. So, you know, that's what that is. Um, but thank you for speaking the truth. And I will... Take your advice. I think you gave me some great advice per usual. And, you know, I'm going to come out with my own safety pins. You know, I'm going to do boxes of 25, 50, 75, and 100. You know, different colors, variety of colors. It's already in the works. I'm already talking to who I need to talk to. So, you guys stay tuned for that. Um, I want you guys to be able to buy these you know, safety pins and be able to put them on your clothes or different items that you have and just make it more King Cainable, okay? Um, so, anywho, shout out to Reese G for that. Um, then we see a little bit of Dior and Ariel on their green screen. Um, Ariel, thank you. You know, I don't owe that girl no apology. Um, me and you, we talked, you know, at the goddamn party and, you know... That's what that was. Um, it just seems like, you know, Dior, anytime it's, it's something against me or anytime it's like a, uh, 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 is Kane in the wrong or something like that, you know, he's always going to go with that answer. You know, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? You can have your opinion because I totally gave my opinion on, you know, the situation that you're involved in. Um, that's to come. So that's fine. Um, you know, we're just giving opinions here. That's totally fine. Um, Anywho, it's game time now. You know, I, the girls were over us arguing. Honestly, I was over it, but, you know, I'm drunk. I'm tipsy, so, bitch, I'm ready to go back and forth all night. You know, if that's what, you know, she wanted to do, I was going to do that. But I just thank Premiere um, um, and Thriller for just hopping in and shutting it up and let's go play the game. So, that was dope. Um, it's game time. Um, I totally... Totally enjoy game time. We play spin the bottle. You know, we're playing this. We're playing that. Um, I know y'all saw Daddy Kane, you know, kiss on Carrie. You know, shout out to Carrie D. Um, but I did, when literally when all the games was going on and I'm watching the show, I'm like, oh my fucking God, I do not remember that. I'm telling y'all, I was drunk, a boot. I was gone off the douce. I was totally, totally, um, totally, totally inebriated, if you will. So, you know, it was it was everything. I actually had a great time at Thriller's event. Um, I thought it was super cute and super fun. Um, um, then we get into Tonio. Now, Tonio is a friend of the show. Um, he hasn't really had an introduction yet, but he is, um, he is or he was 
one of Reese's good Judy's um, or is his good Judy. And, you know, he's just going to throw some out the blue shade. I just don't know where this is coming from. But again, everybody was drinking. Um, so I don't know what that was. But he threw it out there like, oh, I don't know why Premier's here. Like, why is he talking? Like, girl, why is he like, girl, you just said that you wasn't, you know, affiliated with the show. You didn't want anything to do with the show. And but we all know, girl, if you were at a fucking scene, you know what I'm saying? You signed your disclosure. You have received what you don't receive, you know, per email. So stop it. Premier was there because he was invited. And he needs to be there. Y'all need to put some respect on the vet's name. And I don't give a fuck about all y'all in the comments. It's only one season. It's the second season. Can't need to stop. No, I'm not going to fucking chill, bitch. Because if it wasn't for Premier, myself, Tony, Price, Reese, Aubrey, Charles, Wuda. I really hope I'm not missing anybody else from season one, honestly. You know? But if it wasn't for that collective, those girls, there wouldn't even be an opportunity for you to come on here trying to shade Premier. I didn't, I didn't understand that. I didn't like that. So, you know, Premier just starts um, going off into um, his whole spat. And, you know, and Antonio's like, oh, you must feel threatened. I, again, I don't know why Tony Yo said that. I don't know why she think or thought that Premier would be threatened by her presence. I mean, that was just crazy because I feel like everybody was getting along for the most part. So I really, really, really was not understanding where that shade was coming from, like on some real ass shit. I just think it's funny how that input me and Tony Yo's conversation in there and how when Premier Antonio was arguing, I'm like, Tonio, but you are messy. Like, you know, and that's only because of certain things that I'm not even going to get into because I don't have an issue with Tonio. Let's be clear. I do not have an issue with Antonio, okay? I'm just simply reviewing the show, period. Um, but then again, you know, this, the shade was just stupid and so far out there. Um, I don't know. I really like Premier's response. I think Premier looks super cute in his confessional. And, you know, he's like, Antonio, you know, you're wearing your tight pants and penny loafers. And it is a key. And let me just tell you this. It takes Styles by Howard <laughs> to rank and get uh, Antonio together. Because when he talks about the penny loafers, it is a key. Okay. Oh, I can't even do that. I can't roll my tongue. Um, but anywho. Um, then Premier mentions that, you know, bitch, I have on $800 shoes, honey. Why would I be upset? Why would I be threatened? You know, I feel like shit, when you are, and then I feel like, you know, you guys are really going far and above with, you know, Premier and that time. About, oh, he's materialistic. Oh, he, 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 no, I feel like when you're in the argument and you're in a war of words, anything is possible, bitch, because when you fight, you're trying to hurt that person. So, bitch, when you're arguing and you're going for words, you're going to say whatever you think is going to make this bitch feel less than or make this other person feel threatened or make this other person feel like, bitch, I know I'm that bitch. So, when Premier said the $800 shoe come in, I feel like, you know, it was cute. You guys are totally taking it, taking it out of context. Calm the fuck down. Honestly, and I don't know why this wasn't in there. I said that Premier is honestly a sweetheart. And I know that at his core, he's not just a mean, evil bitch like some of these girls are that I'm going to get on. Um, but it's kind of like, don't do that to Premier. Like, that was just too much, you know? I don't know. It was kind of, it was really weird because, like I said, you know, even when Premier and Reese started going back and forth and they're all on the staircase and he's like, don't touch me. And Reese's like, I was a real friend. You know, it was just kind of like almost for me, just like being around them season one, knowing that they were like friends. I don't know. Looking back, it's kind of like hard to watch because I know that they were friends. You know, it's kind of like as, as upsetting as watching Aubrey and Reese go back and forth because when I very first came into the whole situation, you know, it was Reese and Aubrey, they were like sisters. So it's kind of like hard to watch. And that's like on, on episode one, when Reese and Aubrey are arguing outside, I'm just like, this is fucking heartbreaking. Like, 
this shit not cool like really like i just don't like it um but anywho um it seems like the girls uh tony and reese are feeling themselves i mean even after that whole situation you know, Reese was all on live or whatever that was on. And then Tony was walking like, I know who I am. And this, that, and the third, you know. And then there was a coke allegation. I'm not here for it. I mean, I know I throw my allegations out there. You know what I'm saying? But my allegations were are 100% warranted. I don't give a fuck how nobody feel. My allegations slash facts are 100% warranted. So... I don't really know if Premier deserved that. I don't know if that was about Premier. I don't know what that was. I just did not go in for that. Like, it was kind of like, ouch, like, damn. So, we're going below the belt belt this season. Okay, why didn't nobody tell me? <laughs> because clearly, these girls are going below the belt this fucking season. So, we're going to talk about that, too. We're going to get on, on below the belt in, in 5, 4, 3, 2, motherfucking 1. Give me just a moment. Anywho, the next scene, uh, we see um, Wuna and Trey, they're meeting each other to have a workout session. And I'm just like, yes, for the fat booty bitches. Come through, like I've said a thousand times before, you know, I would love for Wuda to be my bottom. I would love for Premier to be my top. I want to ride Premier like a pony. And I'll totally bust open Wuda. I totally live for them both. They're absolutely beautiful. And, you know, they're on. I added them on my close friends on Instagram. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I like, I like looking at Wuda and Premier. They're absolutely beautiful in the face, in the teeth in the skin i just i go in for those girls okay just their image i love it um uh and womack too live for womack love his skin love his teeth love his smile um so anywho the fat booty bitches they're sitting there they're kicking about all the drama um that took place you know from you know the tattoo event to um game night and everything and this is just a long ass scene you know they get on you know that girl and um her best friend and apparently um the bestie has been you know talking to womack but then i think the wuda hint and maybe he had a situation with them i don't know wuda clear that up for me in the comments please boo clear that up um but i don't know did you kind of hint that you had something maybe with you know reverend and or the bestie i don't really know you gotta let me know because girl i don't know this was a long scene and i was trying to keep up um but it was for sure revealed that womack dated the bestie um so, pretty much, uh, Wuda and Womack are going to set each other up on a blind date. Um, Womack was definitely feeling Wuda. Womack, back up off my nigga. <laughs> back up off my man, period. Um, because... No, 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 no. Wuda's mine. I love Wuda. No, I'm just playing. Anywho, um, so I think that that is just, um... Um, oh, yes, let me clear this up with me and Georgina. We didn't date. We didn't talk. It was nothing like that. You know, when I was in his DMs, I was just trying to smash, period. Um, so that's just what there was. When he was in mine, it was just on some, you know, complimenting me, complimenting the swag, complimenting the looks, and, you know, doing that whole thing, how the boys do. So, you know, at the end of the day, we never talked. We never did any of that. I definitely want to clear that up right here, right now. Let's be clear. Okay, honey? Please. Um... Iyanla. Oh, yes. Oh, the blind date. I really want to see that. I really hope that they did this, did, did do that blind date because I think that that will be great for the show. I think that that will be a key. I think that that will be everything. Like, oh my God. Like, bitch, I want to be there, like, in the cut. Like, with my binoculars gagging. I think that would be sickening. I just, I like Trey and Wuda and what they give. Um, yes, the scene was long, but I do feel like if a third person was there, um, like me maybe, working out with them because, you know, I am 5'9", 145. I do want to thicken up just a little bit. Um, so I think that would have been cute 
for me to be there. Um, but yes, y'all, I want to see that blind date. I think that that's really cute. Well done, well, Mac. Um, um, on to Iyala Von Zot. She definitely got it right this time. Um, I definitely think that she's seeing the vibrations and the, the realness of these people and what these people are trying to do and what these people are giving. Um, she definitely gave Ariel her roses. Um, she definitely gave me my roses that I obviously that are due to me. Um, so, Iyala Von Zot, you got it right. Like I told you, baby girl, when we had our conversation on the gram, read me, please. I'm the first to take a critique. I will take a critique. I, that's, I mean, okay, thank you. You know, but I just want you to really pay attention to the maliciousness of other people and just see that, yeah, Kane might be, sh might throw his shade or he might be the safety pin queen, but at the end of the day, he's not malicious to these bitches. These bitches are just angry, okay? So just, just we got an understanding. You see, we know, the world knows. It is what it is. Um, anywho, moving on. Uh, we see the fashion show. The fashion show was just the fashion show. Um, I'm not even going to get on Styles by Howard right now. That's a whole nother scene. That's a whole nother review. That's a whole nother topic that I'll get to when that time comes. Um, but right now, you know, the fashion show was the fashion show. I'm not going to hate on her doing her thing, putting money into her own show with her nine to five. I'm definitely not a motherfucking hater. So, you know, congratulations for that, you know, but at the end of the day, the fashion show was just the fashion show. Anywho, moving on. We see Thrilla and Carrie. Um, they go eat gelato. Um, and they just sit down outside there in Lower Greenville. Lower Greenville is another cute, sickening little part of Dallas where you can go and just have a kiki and, and sip. And I believe um, the club that I talked about on the show where I met Reverend um, before was OT Tavern. That's in Lower Greenville. Super cute area. Super, like... Um, kind of eclectic. There's a dope thrift store that I go to down there. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, cute drink spots, cute little bars, cute little restaurants. Sit outside, be cute and kiki, um, like Thriller and Carrie are doing in this scene. Um, they discuss um, how they met, and Thriller is just being shady to Carrie's face. Like, you know, Carrie. I feel like you 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 could have probably said something in that moment, um, but then again, you are just so sweet and so normal and so natural and just not a mean, ugly person. Um, so I get that you just like brushed it off your shoulder. You know that was very be king of you. I absolutely love that. Um, and uh, you just really put pretty much paid Thriller dust because you know Thriller wasn't really talking about nothing. She was just sitting there looking tired and through. And um, you was just you was just sitting, you know, and I enjoyed it. Um, they discussed the party, and um, you know, um, Markel is shading rock about oh my god, he's ate this ass, that ass, Carrie, how could you do that? How could you do that? Um, and then um, he gets on, how did you meet? Safety pins, um, and you know, Carrie's just pretty much like. Oh, um, Kane, I love Kane. Like, Kane was, you know, the very first person that I met in the circle that, like, that talked to me. So, you know, Carrie, you know, he pretty much explained what I've said this entire time. I did not feel no way about the new girls. I welcomed all the new girls. I was sitting on ready. You know, welcome. Hi, everybody. I'm Kane. <laughs> you know, so, you know, Carrie, thank you for saying that. And, 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 and it was just well appreciated just for me to just, for you being so pure and nice and innocent, for you to just say that, it meant a lot because you didn't have to say it, but you spoke the truth. You speak facts. You know, you're a real bitch, period. Bitch, you know the East Texas girls, we are one thou wow, okay? Okay. So when they get on me, um, you know, Carrie's just living and, you know, you just see Thriller face just, Thriller, why are you so mad, girl? Why is your face all turned up and angry? Like, girl, calm the fuck down, okay, honey? It is really not that deep. 
I can't have a friend? Like, a bitch can't genuinely like me on the show? Like, why are you mad and turning your face up because she's looking at me and, 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 and giving me my, my roses? Like, why are you so angry? Like, girl, calm down, girl. What's wrong? Then, this dry face, dry skin, ugly, funny looking bitch gonna say, did he send you your doctor bill? Mm, mm, mm. Markel, I don't know why. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know why you said that, bitch. I don't know what you're trying to insinuate, but be very fucking clear. It's all good and clean over here, bitch. Make no fucking mistake about that, bitch. If you are trying to insinuate some dirty shit on my motherfucking name, bitch, you be very, very clear, bitch. Because for me, that was below the belt. How dare you? And even if I was positive, bitch, how dare you try to status shame Dr. Bill? What are you trying to say, honey? What are you getting at, baby? Be very clear. I don't know no other way to take it. Bitch, all the fucking messages I got from that shit, bitch, you better be motherfucking clear. Don't ever mention my name, bitch. You trying to... With safety pins. <laughs> so now you done joined the Reverend bandwagon? Like, girl, you are a fucking weird fucking doe. Okay? How dare you? Dr. Bill. Don't 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 worry don't don't worry about my doctor bill. The doctor bill the doctor bill you should worry about is after you got that piercing and your dry skin, raggedy skin was pulling away from your face because you're so fucking ugly. <laughs> you're so fucking ugly. Your skin was running from your face after the piercing. Yes, honey. I saw all the pictures. It was a gag. My whole thing is this. Worry about that, Doctor Bill. How much was that, Dr. Bill, when you have to go to the doctor and, and get that rectified, okay? Worry about that, Dr. Bill, bitch, because ain't no Dr. Bill came from, from me to fucking carry D from a kiss, bitch. Don't ever try me in that way that was so below the belt. I did not like it. I hated it. You know, you could just, Markel is just, honestly, he's miserable. He's bitter. He can't keep a man. And Markel, I'm going to tell you why you can't keep a man, girl. I'm going to I, I, I just have to show you, baby. I'm going to show you why you can't keep a man. Because don't nobody want to wake up to... <laughs> don't nobody want to wake up to that every fucking morning, okay? That's why you're single. That's why you can't keep a man. That's why your season one storyline was, you know... My boyfriends, my this, my that, and relationship. And then you went to your ex house. Your ex one stunned you. Y'all go back and watch that episode on season one. The ex was not studying his ass. Period. Because don't nobody want to wake up to Thriller. <laughs> so, you know, at the end of the day, bitch, you want to go below the belt with me? I'm going to go to below the belt with you. Because you have dry skin, dry eyes, bad skin, bags under your eyes. And K. Michelle voice when she was getting Rashida together. The prune. The Georgia prune. How dare you? How dare you? I have plenty of friends and people that I love and genuinely care for. And, and, just, and just, 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 just know on a rapport and on a friendly level who are positive, girl. You don't know how many people who are positive on the cast. You don't know how many people who are positive that watch this show. So why would you say that, Dr. Bill? I'm going to need you to clear that up for me, honey. What you mean, Dr. Bill? Show us your Dr. Bill from your skin pulling from your face. Y'all, when I tell y'all the pictures were a key, the pictures were a key. Okay? Don't come for me in that way. Don't try me. Yes, I am still healing from my sexual addiction, honey. Be very clear. I'm free, nasty motherfucker. Kiss on the tongue. I don't want to fuck a nigga if he ain't hung or thick. Okay? So... I'm freak nasty, bitch, but you be very clear. I'm a clean, safe bitch, okay? Don't ever try me on that. Anywho. <sighs> and furthermore, Raquel, Mar I said Raquel, bitch. Markel is a replacement, y'all. Like, let's just be clear. Season one. And our discovery packets and our meet the cast, things that we were doing with one another, um, just knowing who each other was, it was premiere. 
Reese, me, Tony Price. Not Tony Price. He was never a main cast member. Reese, King Kane, Aubrey, Charles, Premier, and a cute ass chef. Okay, cute, light skin, pretty curly hair, chef. I mean, his food looks amazing on his Instagram. I can't even remember his name right now. I wish I could, but shout out to that chef. Anybody watching this review, if you know that chef's Instagram name, leave his, leave his name in the comment section, okay? That's who we all knew was on the cast. That's who we all were building a rapport with. You know, Markel was on a whole nother show, a whole nother situation, you know, being a cigarette queen, Stealing the kids' laptops and breaking the kids' laptops. You know what I'm saying? So, girl, we didn't we 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 didn't know like that you were coming over here to, you know, with us. You know, my first time meeting the girl was at Reese's Egg event. I'm just like, oh, and then the bitch was even shading me then, bitch. But you got it right. I was giving Coachella. Yes, I said that. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy you can notice a look. And at the end of the day, I be noticing that you try to do little different things with your swag. You try to switch your swag up. And how you present yourself, that mask thing that you wear, that's King the, 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 the Your first intro look, honey, you tried to take it to the next level, but it didn't work. So, <laughs> you had to redo it and you put on something a little more basic. So, I just kind of feel like, girl, don't try it. You know, you were a replacement for the chef who was too booked and busy to film. That's true tea. We all knew each other. Oh, and B-King. B-King was always going to be main as well. It was him as well. So, girl, that's who we all was building rapports with and getting to know and following on the gram and, you know, liking each other's things. And, okay, so we're really going to do this show. Okay, like, you know, that's who we all knew. You just came through the door. I mean, I don't know where Reese found you from. I don't really know that story. I don't know. But when we, I met you at the thing and then... I'm just like, Aubrey, so she's on the show, like, <laughs> really? Like, he can go find another chef that could slay? So, at the end of the day, a replacement can never come for an original. Me and Reese both know the story of how we met and how she lived for me and how I just had to be on her show. So, that's what that is. Anywho... Um, I just feel like, yes, shout out to Carrie. He's catching the mess and the stupidity. Even in his confessional, he's like, girl, why are you sitting here gagging your bestie, Reese G, the one who brought you in the show as a replacement? <laughs> I'm just saying, she did. And, you know, it's kind of like, why are you trying to get Carrie to say something negative about her or get some tea from him? You're just like a leech. Like trying to watch you like pull that out of him was cringeworthy. Yet again, this is the second time in a row on the episode where Markel is doing below the belt cringeworthy things. And nobody calls her out for it. Nobody. Not her friends. Not her people. Not nobody. But I'm going to call the bitch out. Period. I don't know who do you think you are because, I mean, you're an accountant. I mean, that's what you told me that you do. I mean, that's good, Markel. Yay. You have you a nice job. I mean, that's good. Like, great. You know, you're in your 30, 40, 50s. You should have that. Like, that's great, girl. That is amazing. But you need to stop looking down on people, baby, because at the end of the day, girl, <laughs> you are ugly. And everybody knows it. Everybody says it. And it's, and, and the, the, the real thing about it is you're ugly on the inside and out. It would be cute if you, it would be all right if you was just ugly on the outside, but you was just a nice, sweet, genuine person. They'll make people, you know, want to like fuck with you and like feel you more. But the fact that you are already ugly and then you ugly on the inside too, it's just like, oh my God, no. So for me, you know, you're, a, you're a, another one who wouldn't be back for season three because you're too malicious. You go too below the belt. You're too angry for the platform anyway. Like, this is supposed to be fun and us uh, showing what we do and just, you know, yes, there's going to be some little minor issues, but girl, you are going way too far this season. Let's tone it on back. Bring it on back. Like, calm down. Oh my God, girl. What's wrong? Womack and Wuda, please set her up on a blind date with you girls, please. Jesus. 
Anywho, we get into the whole Malaysia Booker, the trans woman who was brutally beat. Oh, my God. In the streets. I hated that moment. Um, when it happened in real life, I was like, oh, my God, this is crazy. And then she was murdered, you know, um, later. It's just crazy. It's sad. I just feel like all these trade-ass niggas need to stop fucking on these transgender women and then trying to murder them and murder them and hurt them and harm them because you like what you like at the end of the day. Like, that's a whole nother story. Y'all go watch my coming out story. Um, it's like the very first video on my channel. It's kind of like a welcome. It's my coming out story. I did it back in June and during Pride Month. And I just really go in on trade. Like, I've never, I don't see it for trade. I've never saw it for trade. I ain't never been in no closet. I don't know nothing about no closet. So that's that on that. Um, I don't know. I just, I love what Ariel's saying. I love what she's doing. I feel like this is another situation where you guys are taking it out of context. You know, she's just hurt for her community because she is a transgender woman. Like, let her vent. Let her be mad. Let her be angry. I mean, this is real life. And it's the straight niggas who doing it. So, at the end of the day, get over it. If she don't see it for the straight, dirty, ratchet ass hoes and niggas, then that's her prerogative. Y'all don't be seeing it for them and us. Y'all don't be seeing it for the LGBTQ, LMNOP. Period. So I don't feel like she's inciting or enticing hate and to kill the people. She's just venting at the end of the goddamn day. Period. So let her vent and shut the hell up. Period. Um, you know, and I used to be one of those people like, I don't really know about transgender women. I don't know because, girl, you know, I'm the first to read. But it's kind of like, you know, once I did meet one, I'm kind of like, oh, okay. Y'all really are just normal, like, human people. Like, okay. I get it. Um... Um, I thought that that was cute, you know, but they're all at Ariel's beautiful, posh home. Um, I love the big teddy bear that was sent by Ariel. Hey, big teddy bear. Um, and then Reese's over there, and he's talking about, you know, just being a visually feminine person. You know, what she gives sometimes, it could be hard. It could be frustrating because people are just so disrespectful and hateful. That's true. That's just what it is. Um, I love this scene. I love this moment. Um. I do want to say this. I love that we're seeing more of the new girls, um, Carrie, Dior, and Ariel. I think, you know, the platform can, you know, get used to them, get to know who they are. I think that that's beautiful. I think that that's great. Um, I already said Reese spoke facts. Um, Reese, was that red choker King Kane clothing? Um, you guys go back and look at the episode. I believe that choker that Reese had on in his confessional, the red choker. I believe that that is King Kane clothing. Um, so Reese, thank you for wearing my choker. You know, that's what's up. And see, this is my thing. This is what I'm saying. Reese be having her real bitch moments, but then she'll just do some fuck shit. And it's just like, Reese, like, damn, girl, I thought we was bitches, you know? So. Whatever, you know, it is what it is. Um, but anyway, if that is my um, um, choker, thank you, put I love it. Um, so anyway, guys, that was my review over Chasing Dallas, Season 2, Episode 3. Like this video, share this video, rate this video, and just subscribe to my channel, y'all. I'm almost to a fucking thousand subscribers. I'm not going to keep begging you bitches to subscribe. You guys are watching. You guys are viewing. You might as well subscribe. I mean, just hit subscribe. Like, I don't get it. Like, hit subscribe. <laughs> I wish I knew how to edit to just put hit subscribe. So, anyway, girls and, and people, you know, I fuck so child. Thank y'all for fucking with me. Thank y'all for viewing these fucking reviews because you guys, the hate and the the, 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 oh my God, I can't wait for Kane's reviews. That's really taking my channel to the next level. I absolutely love it. Um, I downloaded the YouTube studio app, so I'm monitoring my stats and things like that, and things are going up from here. So in no time, you know, I'll be getting a YouTube coin. Um, so, you know, God is good. God is blessing me in the commentary world. And, you know, I'm a man of many talents and many hats. Um, so follow me in, um, on all of my social media in the description. Um, and just keep fucking with your boy Kane. Keep me in your prayers. Oh, and y'all keep coming about this damn, um, uh, smoke detector that's beeping to change the batteries. Look, my lease is up on the 31st of January. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not putting a battery in these bitches shit. I cannot wait to dip from this bitch. <laughs> so, no, they can do that for the next tenants. So, sorry. Y'all can keep hearing that until the 31st. Um, so, I fucks with y'all. Peace out, hoes. <laughs>